Okay, Year 7, so this is the Unit 11 quiz on measuring space. So, uh, let's have a go at this. Question 1. Convert 3 metres into centimetres. Now, we've been talking a lot about the importance of showing your workings out. In this case, really, you just need to show the calculation that you're doing. So, I've got 3 metres, and there are 100 centimetres um, in every metre. So... 300 centimetres. And we're also making sure that we're expressing our units, stating our units. B, convert 8 kilometres into metres. Well, I've got 8 kilometres. There are 1,000 metres um, in a kilometre, so 8 kilometres. Again, writing the units. If I get my conversion rates wrong, I'll be able to see that when I have the workings out. Um, convert 350 centimetres into metres. So if there are... Uh, 100 centimetres in a metre, we need to divide it by 100, um, so that's going to be 3.5 metres. Question 2. Convert 400 centimetres into metres. So, same kind of thing. I've got 400, there are 100 centimetres in a metre, and uh, that's going to give me 4 metres. Very simple. B. Write these measurements in order of size, smallest first. So whenever you're comparing um, quantities, you generally want to get them in the same units. So probably getting all these into metres would be sound, or you could get them into centimetres. So 400 divided by 100, so that's 4 metres. 2 metres is 2 metres, so that's nice and easy. 0 0.003 kilometres times 1,000 metres in a kilometre is going to give me... 3 metres. So if I now write those in order, the first, the smallest one is the 2 metres, the next largest is the 0 0.03 kilometres, and the next one is the 400 centimetres. And so this is what you've got to be really careful about. When you're expressing your working out, you'll be able to see like how many zeros when your conversion rates, um, to try and make sure you get it right. Question three, the weight of a two penny coin is seven grams. Find the weight of six pounds worth of two P coins. Give your answer in kilograms. So six pounds times 100 equals 600 pence. 600 pence divided by two pence coins is 300 coins. And then I've got 300 two P coins probably pretty confusing having the units in there. 300 coins times 7 grams, well 3 times 7 is 21, so 300 times 7 is 2100 grams. And uh, probably, yeah, give your answer in kilograms, so 2100 divided by 1000 equals 2.1 kilogram. Very important again to be showing what your units are at each point, which also really helps you to illustrate what you're actually trying to calculate at any one given time. Four, Kelly has two dogs, Pixie and Fifi. Pixie is 8.5 kilograms, and Fifi is 720 grams lighter than Pixie. Work out how much Fifi weighs. So uh, let's get everything into grams. So 8.5 times 1,000 equals 8,500 grams. So I can now subtract my 720 from my um, 8,500. So that's fine. That's 0, 4, 1, 8, 7, 14, 7. That's a 7. Take nothing. I make 7, 7, 8, 6. So 7, 7, 8. No, not 6. That's a 0. 0 grams because it was grams minus grams, and probably I'm going to make that into kilograms. If you left it in grams and stated that it was in grams, that's fine, you can leave it at that. Um, as long as you state your units, I'll just underline in red, state your units. Um, so that, that there is giving you the choice about which units to use. I'm pretty happy with that. Question five, how many hours are there in three days? So there are... 24 hours in three days, so three times 24. So actually, I could just do this like a sort of a multiplication thing. So four times three is 12, two times three is six, plus one is seven, 72 hours. And B, how many minutes are there in five hours? 
we've got five hours times 60 minutes per hour. And five times six is 30, so five times 60 is 300 minutes. Last one, question six. You are given that five miles equals eight kilometers. Convert 20 miles into kilometers. So the first thing I would think is if I'm going from miles to kilometers, the number of kilometers is going to be larger, just as a kind of sanity check. So if you're not sure which way around to do the conversion, you should be fairly sure when it comes out if you pick the right way or not. So I'm going to do 20 uh, miles divided by 5 miles times 8, because this is a conversion rate where you don't have like 1 mile equals so many kilometres. It's 5 to 8, a bit like a ratio. So um, this is how we do the conversion. Divided by that kind of number of miles on the left, times it by the kilometres on the right. So 20 uh, divided by 5 is 4 times 8, so that's going to be 32 kilometers and that number is larger than 20 miles which is a good sign that I've kind of got that the right way around so that's A. B convert 24 kilometers into miles so I'm going to do 24 divided by 8 times 5 so 24 divided by 8 is 3 times 5 15 miles and again that is a smaller number than the number of kilometers which kind of stands to reason so that was that quiz